Hey Bolo Buddies, there's a few things going on in this video. I'm going to take you thrifting with me. I also hit a yard sale where I walked in and they had stuff priced, but there was a free table. So I grabbed some stuff off the free table. I offered to pay for it, but she would not take my money. So I got it free. Um, I'm going to talk about those items in this video. And then I also picked up something from Chosen Goods Resellers eBay store, and I'm going to unbox that and show you guys what I got. So stay tuned for all of that. This is kind of a, it's got multiple things going on in this video. So ultimately I am sourcing and I'm going to show you what I found. Thanks for watching. Hey, Bella Buddies, thanks for watching. Amazing, right? All right, let's get started. Okay, um, I think I just saw snow. <laughs> Seriously, snow. Um, I'm getting ready to run into the retail store. It's right next door to the Goodwill bins, so I figured I'm here. I might as well run it. Okay, so almost always, whenever I go to the Goodwill bins, the retail store is connected to it. So why not hit both, right? I will say the last time I went, I didn't have a full day to source. Um, I had something else I had to do that day, so I did not go to this store that day. But I feel like if I go once a week, I don't find a whole lot of new stuff. Do you guys feel like that? I know some people go to the same Goodwill like two or three times a week. I'm usually like once a week per store, but I don't know. Am I missing out? Am I, should I go first thing in the morning? Do you guys have any tips for me and other resellers the best time to source, how you source, when you find the best deals. And if you don't want to give away your secrets in the comments, no worries. But if you want to share, feel free to do that down below. All right, so I checked out the Christmas stuff, pots and pans. I don't typically pick up pots and pans. I'm not super knowledgeable in them. And I don't like the big handles. It makes them awkward to ship and finding a box. So I know I'm missing out on money and I should definitely do my research in that category, but it's just a category I often skip. And I know some of you are gonna be like, no, look at the pots and pans. So if you sell pots and pans, let me know in the comments some of your favorite brands so I can be on the lookout. All right, so I'm kind of looking at the glass. You guys know how I feel about breakables, but I do scan them and especially for the video, Sometimes you guys see things and you can help educate me since that's not really my thing. And you can see I'm walking right past it and I'm heading to my favorite spot, the toys. And they had tons of games this time. Uh, I did not pick up a whole lot today, uh, but I did pick up some stuff. So we're going to look at what I did pick up. Uh, I do look at the games. Anything that's sealed, I'm going to definitely comp that out. And even if it's a bread and butter and it's sealed, I, I oftentimes will pick it up if the price is good. Now, one thing that I will tell you about games, before I tell you that, I did grab this guy. He is Toothless from How to Train Your Dragon. Um, I do have him up for auction. He's pretty cool. So back to the games. One little tip I can give you is if you sell on Poshmark, put the games on Poshmark because the shipping is going to be cheaper over on Poshmark because it's a flat rate price. I think it's like almost eight bucks. So if you put it on eBay, it could be closer to like nine to $12 to ship a game, depending on how heavy it is. When you get into that three pound weight and with the size of it, it can really get up there. So Poshmark is a great place to put board games. Um, if you don't sell on Poshmark, and I also like Mercari. I have links down below and you guys can sign up with those and you get a coupon when you sign up and I get a coupon. And I use List Perfectly to cross post. If you wanna learn more about that, I have a video down in the description. And if you decide you wanna use it after you watch that video, you can use coupon referral code Bolo Buddies, all one word to get 30% off your first month. I've been using it since 2019 and by having my items on multiple platforms, I make more sales because some things are really saturated on eBay. These were new old stock, uh, is it Star Wars? I'm not really sure what it was, but there were a bunch of them. I think they had $12 on them and they were not selling. I left those behind. I didn't even comp them. Would you have looked up comps? Those guys are the, I cannot think of what they are. I have sold them before. I typically 
sell them in small lots or in bulk. They don't really have a lot of value um, individually. So here we are at one of my favorite spots at this Goodwill. I have found some big money bolos in this store. A lot of their items are 99 cents. If they're not marked, their plush is 99 cents, which is a fantastic price for plush. Now, some of them are priced higher, like the bigger ones or what they think is special, but 99 cents is great. And I think the three that I pick up today in this video were 99 cents each. This big old Tigger, I did look him up. He is from Winnie the Pooh. And I feel like Winnie the Pooh is more long tail than some of the other plush I pick up. Let me know what you think in the comments. He was really big. Um, I think he had a function. I did comp him and for some reason I left him behind. So the comps must not have been that great. But he's giant. So I was kind of surprised. And I think he does something. This is a Star Wars figure, but the condition was not great. So I do look at tags. That's going to give you maybe the date of an item or um, a brand. Those things help you look stuff up. This guy had, I don't know what on him. Sometimes plush is just nasty. Um, I, I don't even know why some of it gets donated, to be honest. I'm not sure what that was on there. This little guy, I'm not sure what that was. Maybe I should have looked that up. Little panda bear, that is so cute. And a shoe. <laughs> so was somebody hiding the shoe? I always find stuff in the plush, like somebody's hiding it and they're going to come back for it. But I don't know why they just wouldn't buy it. Somebody said maybe a store employee so that they can buy it when they get off work. This is a Boyd's Bear. It's Noah. I don't typically have my tape measure in the first photo, but I accidentally deleted the first photo and I already put it in the plush uh, bin to be inventoried. So I just haven't got back down to grab it to do a new photo. And to be honest with you, that just might stay my main photo. This Mickey Mouse, do you think somebody made that sweater for the item or do you think that's original to the Mickey? And how do you guys do with Mickey Mouse plush? Uh, for me, if it's Disney store, I pick it up. If it's another brand, I'm more, uh, I comp it and I'm more selective. I feel like the Disney store items do better and sell quicker. Not to say the other ones don't sell. You know, sometimes things can be a jackpot and you throw them back in the bin because you didn't look it up. You know, I've done that. All right, look at that little guy, little Snoopy. So, so cute. So as I'm going through here, if you see something that you would have picked up that I put back, let me know. This is a Disneyland um, bear. I looked up comps. It wasn't going for much. I think it was a 99 cent item. Would you have picked this up or left it behind? I think I saw some of them that had on like clothing, like a shirt or something. All right, we're going to keep looking here. This one I think is one of those doodle things like you're supposed to color on it. I've been seeing a lot of those lately. A lot of them are colored on, but that one did not seem to be. I think that other one right there to the right also is one of those. This guy I looked up comps on. He probably would have been a good bread and butter. Sometimes with plush, people are just looking for specific animals. Um, let's say they have their child has they're into a certain animal and they really don't care about the brand they just want the animal so that's another reason that plush is a great bread and butter because brand does not always matter the ones that are typically high dollar are usually a good brand but you know it just really varies let me know in the comments what is your highest dollar plush sale and that brings me to um, something that I just thought of. If you guys are not in my Bolo Buddies Facebook group, head over there. What I do is I invite my Facebook members to share a Bolo in the comments of a post, and then I feature your Bolos in a video. So it's really fun. If you want to have your item featured in a video, definitely go check that out. There is a link to my Facebook group down in the description of this video. All right. There are a couple more items that I grab here. I did grab this guy. If he would have been in better condition, I could have got more for him. Where you push the button, um, he has a little bit of wear, but stay tuned because we're gonna talk about the items that I ended up finding and I'm gonna show you exactly how he works. I had no idea when I bought it. I knew it did something, 
but um, wait until you see my delight when I figure out how it works. It's so funny and so cute. All right, let's see. We are, this is one of the sections that I really like in this store. What they do is they pull out like three or four of these carts and it's usually the items that they have just brought out from the back that they have not put on the floor yet. And that was Toy Story 3. Maybe I should have looked that up. Let me know if you guys know in the comments. These are some Puma shoes. I don't typically pick up pre-owned shoes because I don't want to clean them. I know some people are killing it with shoes. And if you're one of those people, talk me into it. Talk me into selling shoes in the comments. All right, let's see. We are gonna head over to this other cart here. I do find one more item. Uh, this is a Kinex. I do pick these up from time to time. That little green motor on the front can go anywhere from eight to $12. Sometimes people get a little more if they get lucky, but definitely pick those up if you see them. I recently found one at the Benz. This looks like a wine cooler maybe. What do you guys think? Would you have picked that up? I'm thinking that might have done well on Poshmark, but it kind of looks, I don't know, like the top of it, I don't know. It just didn't look perfect to me. So I went ahead and left that behind, but I did think about it for a minute. All right, here we have Stitch, and he is a cute little Disney Store plush. So as I said, I do pick up Disney Store items. He'll be a nice bread and butter. He's got on the little Christmas hat there. I did check this guy out. I have sold this brand before. I decided to leave him behind, but definitely look up that brand if you see it. Some of them can do pretty good. All right, here we go. Okay, you guys, so I was heading up to the bins and I saw a garage sale sign and I stopped and the table said free. So of course, um, I grabbed a few things. I tried to give her some money because I feel like I can make some money on this stuff, but she would not take it. But I kind of just collect stickers like this whenever I see them. I won't do anything with them right away. Um, I have a whole collection and eventually I'll probably lot them up, like maybe put letters together or I don't know. I've got a big box, but it's just going to go in my hoard for now. I did find this. It's Bucilla's. It's originally from Odd Lots, but I do believe it's older. I don't know if it's vintage or not, but it was on the free table. So I went ahead and grabbed that. I'm looking for a date, just not seeing a date. Usually it's like down on the bottom, but I can probably look it up by this number. So I'll get that listed. I'll take these tags off. Um, and I've never seen it with an S. See how it's Bucillas? Now, this was the thing that caught my eye. I have sold these before. Um, memory book with white refill pages. So it's got this little thing which connects into a particular type of book. So it's gonna need to be this particular book. I can probably scan it and figure that out. I did not comp these. Again, they were free. Here's this. It looks like, so I got one, two, three that were sealed. This one was not sealed, but it seems to have everything. It's still got the little thing here. And then it's got all of this paper. So this is not a photo album. This is white paper uh, scrapbook inserts. So I am curious to see what those sell for. I will either sell them individually or I will sell them um, in a lot. I haven't decided. Okay, what is this? So Chosen Goods reseller, Carissa, one of my friends, I was looking through her eBay store and I wanted to purchase somewhat, something from her to show her some support. And there was this item that I had seen her pick up in a thrift haul. And I was kind of like, why on earth would she get that? I just thought it was like a silly little item. Um, just not something I would pick up, but I kind of razzed her about it a little bit. So I was looking through her store and I'm like, I'm totally gonna buy that. So I'm gonna unbox this and show you guys what I bought um, from Chosen Goods Reseller. Stay tuned. And you can see right here, it says, look, and I don't know if she drew this or her husband drew it because I bought this when she was in the hospital. So she, he either took her a box and she made me a picture or he drew it. So we all want to know, Chris, if you're watching this, who drew the snowman? Oh my goodness. Packing peanuts. All right. Let's see what we got here. 
Ooh, we have a card. If you have any issues with your purchase, please contact us ASAP and give us a chance to make it right. Wow, cute card. I love that. All right, let's see what else we have in here. Oh, 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 oh. I have a sticker. I'm so excited. Oh, goodness me, she sent me three. Oh my gosh, they're beautiful. They're like, um, what do you call that, where they change colors? They're rainbows. I love them. Thank you, Carissa. I love these. Super, super excited about those. I will put those with my collection of stickers that I'm going to eventually do something with. Okay, so I wasn't sure how big this guy was, but I think he's bigger than I thought. So let me get him out of the paper here. Stay tuned. Okay, so this is in one of her thrift with me videos. And for some reason, I did not remember it being this big. So this is hilarious. But I did ask her, I'm not, I wasn't sure if she did it, if she would sign the top. And she did, it says Chosen Goods Reseller 2022. And it's a little cute snowman. Okay, I have to admit, it looks way cuter in person than it did in the video. I was totally confused by why she got it. For my best friend, Courtney, love Carissa. Oh, that is so sweet. We have become really, really good friends. She is a great, great friend. Um, if you guys don't know Chosen Goods Reseller, go over and sub her up. But how cute is he? So I told her I wanted her to sign it for when she became famous and that I was going to get this out every year at Christmas. He's a little patchwork. Uh, I don't know if it's ceramic or what, but um, I'm going to put this down with my Christmas decorations and pull it out at Christmas. So pretty fun little item. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Okay, Carissa, thank you so much. Love my stickers. Love my snowman. Now for a little recap of what I got at the thrift store today. It wasn't much but I think I got a few good things. So let's look at those close up. All right, so I ended up picking up this little guy. I'm trying to think of what movie he's from. Um, I cannot think of it. Oh, what is it? But anyway, it's a Disney store. You can see right there, it says Disney store. He's just a little guy, but he's Christmas. I thought he was kind of cute and I think I can sell him. He was 99 cents at the Goodwill. He is probably gonna be a bread and butter unless there's something I don't know about this guy. So um, just a little cutie there. The next item I picked up is this little Boyd's Bear. I do pick up Boyd's plush if I can get them for a dollar or less. There are certain Boyd's that go for big money. I have a video on that if you haven't seen it. Definitely go check it out so you know what to look for. This is not a big money one that I know of. Um, however, it is Noah's Ark and there is a series of Noah's Ark plush so I'm thinking he may do okay. I only paid 99 cents for him, so I'm thinking he'll at least be a bread and butter. So little cute plush there. The next item I grabbed was this little guy, and I think his name's Tom. I don't know if it's like supposed to be from Tom and Jerry or what. Um, there's the little tag, and if you push his hand, it does that. I think that's all it does. Or maybe it needs a battery. Because it just, that's it. So I'll have to research him, see if maybe he does something else. Oh, he, it lights up there. I'll have to research him, see if maybe he does something else. Oh, it lights up there. Ah! <laughs> it definitely does something else. He repeated after me. <laughs> That is hilarious. I love it. Okay, I do not sound like that. That is so funny. Oh my goodness. Okay, that just made my day. I had no idea it did that. Okay, so I guess when the hand is lit up. Okay, so now it's probably recording and you can see it's got some wear there where Oh my goodness, I love it. Oh my goodness, I love it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> but he was $5, and even if he doesn't work, I think I can make my $5 back in a little bit. 
Um, his name is Toothless and he's from the movie How to Train Your Dragon and he's pretty big. So he will probably be kind of a pain to ship. I paid $4.99 from him. The three plush were 99 cents each. And that's all I got today from that thrift store. Be sure to check out the description of the video. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.